Okay, putting on the uh, timing cover now. Um, new gears, everything in there. Don't forget to change out your seal, lube it up before you put it in there. Um, what I do, you don't have to do this, it's just what I do. I'll take some black silicone, RTV seal gasket maker, and go around all these ports. Um, that's just something I do, it's just added protection. Um, then I'll put my gasket on there. And it'll help hold it in place too when you go to put the pump on. Put it on there, right? Might help. Hold it in place while you put everything on there. It says you don't have to do that, it's just something that I do to help me. It's a little bit of security against leaking. Uh, but you get that on there, and you can go ahead and put your cover on. See if I can do this one-handed. Okay, guys, we're uh, getting ready to put on the oil pan. Uh, got the oil pig up on there. Uh, before you bolt your pan on there, check and make sure you got good clearance from your pan bottom to your pickup. Make sure you're not hitting the pan or too far off the pan. Um, Usually on setups like this, you don't have to worry about it. Uh, they're usually dead on, but just to be safe, go ahead and check it. Put you a, a one eight drill bit or something on top of this. Put some grease on there and set your pan on there and see if you're hitting. Um, just to be safe. Uh, you don't want to be right up against that pan and, and compromise your oil pickup. And In the same sense, you don't want to be too far off of it to where you're sucking air. But just check it and make sure you, you've got good clearance. Okay, now before we uh, put the gasket on here, there's a few things that I do on mine. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but down there where that crucifix gasket goes, uh, where it doesn't come all the way out, I went ahead and packed those with uh, black RTV sealant. Um, it's just kind of my thing. It added security so you don't have any leaks coming out of there. Um, also, I put a blob. Uh, a sealant right over this rear main where the cracks are, right above the crucifix. Uh, same thing, just added security. And then I'll run a very thin line down the edge of this where the gas is going to go. And then the same thing up here on your front where you got your uh, connecting points. I'll put another blob there. And when you do it this way, like I said, those, those on the four corners, that's just for added security. Um, keep keep it from leaking. But the reason why I go down this side is like my gasket's a, a cork gasket. So it's, uh, you know, the, the temperature gets to it and it makes the, the fit off. Uh, it's a little bit cold in here today. So the reason I'm doing this is I'm going to put the gasket on there and make sure all the holes line up. And then I'll set something on top of it for about 10 minutes or so uh, just so that, that sealant will hold it in place. Um, and I can take it apart or take the uh, pan and sit on there and not have to worry about the holes lining up. That's just something that I do. And also, by doing it this way, if for any reason you got to take that pan back off, uh, if you forgot to do something or you need to check something, that gasket's going to stay in place. It's not going to come off with the pan. Uh, and you'll risk dam uh, not damaging it by doing this way if it stays put. So. That's just something that I do. You know, it's kind of my thing. There again, added security. And it makes it easier lining the holes up. When you put the pan back on there, you're not fighting with that gasket. But uh, that's just a, a couple of tips. Uh, you might do it, you might not. I mean, that's up to you. But like I said, it does help. Okay, it's been about uh, seven or eight minutes or so, and the uh, silicone I put on there is tacked up pretty good. And, you can see it's holding everything where it needs to be in place. We're going to go ahead and set the pan on there. Now, when you put your pan on there, just be gentle with it. Uh, don't don't force it and fight with it. Uh, let it lay where it lays. pan on there now. Just make sure you get your pan to line up with your bolt holes. Okay. 
okay. Now when you go to put these on there, you put your screws on there, do your two nuts first, then come back here and put your two corners on there. Don't tighten them down, just put them on there where everything holds. And then go ahead and put all your rest of them in there. Now when you go to tighten those up, uh, the manual says torque them down to 17 pounds. I mean, there ain't no sense in busting out a torque wrench for that. Um, what you do on these, especially if you got the cork gasket, uh, tighten all of them down. You know, go every other bolt, tighten down to where it's nice and snug, and then go back to the ones that uh, you didn't tighten down. And once you got them all down snug, go again every other one and put a half a turn on there. Uh, you don't want to go too far because you'll crush and bust that gasket out. But if you go snug and half a turn, you'll be all right. Um, just don't over tighten them. If you over tighten them, you'll you'll get leaks and stuff. So let's say go every other one uh, snug. Once you got them all snugged up, then go again every other one half a turn, and that'll be plenty tight for that. Okay, um, get ready to put the heads on this thing. Um, all the gaskets up. Now, these gaskets have real nice coating on them. Uh, it's real good for these things. Uh, and said the factory just had like sheets of metal, and and they work for a while. But you never want to buy an uncoated gasket uh, for your heads because they will leak. Now, if you have to, and you have to get the just plain old cheap shit. AutoZone sells a copper coating that you can spray on these uh, on your head gaskets if you need to get a better seal. Um, if you go with just a sheet metal, I would uh, I would coat them. Also, with these gaskets, I don't know if it'll show up there, but see right there it says top kind of common sense. I mean, you can't put these ones on backwards or upside down. or It's pretty common sense. Just flop them on there and set your head on there and you're good to go. Uh, let's see, I got, them, got both of them on there. So they're good gaskets. Uh, really good gaskets, actually. Now, before you put your head gaskets on there, do a good wipe down on your mating surface. Get all that excess grease and oil and stuff off of there. That way you get a real good seal on there. Also, this is where it comes in where I said you got two stages of 90 degree turns and that is for the heads. And if you get these gaskets, they will give you a sheet of paper. It tells you the sequence. It tells you how to install them. It tells you about your 90 degrees. Now, if you get these, you want to go by this and not by what the manual says. Go by what the manufacturer of that part says, since they give you head bolts and everything. Um, and they're they're really good, uh, good bolts. It said uh, they give you new head bolts when you buy those gaskets, uh, and just go go in sequence, like that paper right there says and uh, you'll be okay. Just make sure you use the new bolts. Don't use the old ones. Uh, it has a lot to do with the spring. Uh, now, they don't spring, but it's kind of a, a one-time use only. Once you pull them off, they're no good. So just go ahead and get the ones that come with the new bolts. Uh, trust me, you'll uh, be much happier that you did. Go ahead and get this set on there, and then uh, we'll go over the tighten them down. Okay, we got the head bolts in there. Now these, I put them in there and I just turned them where they just touching the head. Now what you want to do here, like I said, there's two stages of 90 degree turns. So what you want to do is you want to get all these torqued down to 15 foot pounds of torque. Okay, now you got to do this in the sequence. You go 15, and then in the same sequence, you go a 90-degree turn, which, you know, that's uh, 
quarter turn. And then uh, once you get through that entire sequence on the first 90 degree, you go back the same exact sequence and do another turn of 90 degrees on those bolts. Now, let's show this paper again. This is how you want to do it. Number one, number one, you want to do that one right there, 15, 15, 15, 15, all the way through this sequence here. I'm going to go 15. Okay, once you get that, then you start in the same sequence that you just did. 90 degrees, finish all of them, go back to your starting point, number one another 90 degree turn. That's how you set these heads. Don't over tighten them. Um, that, that's uh, how Land Rover recommends these be tightened down and that's how you need to do it on aluminum. It's crucial you do it that way. You don't want to over torque them because you'll strip out those threads and then uh, you just cost yourself crap toting money. So 15 foot pounds of torque then 90 degree turns in two stages. how you do your heads. Also, when you put your heads on there, I've got this gasket on here. These two dowel rods, dowel pins. Hold your head up, line up those first, and then set your head down, because this, this strip right here will come off easy, and you can damage the head gasket pretty easy. Um, and any kind of damage to this stuff, and it'll leak, so it's very crucial to line up those pins and then set your head on there. And then do the same thing on that head. All right, working on the intake on this thing now. Um, as you can see, I completely got this one tore apart and I already cleaned it. Uh, took off the uh, upper plenum, or some people call them velocity stacks. Uh, I took that off so I could take my entire fuel rail off, injectors and all, no problems. Um, and the reason I'm doing it that way is because I'm rebuilding the uh, injectors, uh, putting new rings in them, cleaning them. And it was easier to take them off if I took that off. Now, you don't have to take that off um, if you're not going to go that far. But mine really needed to be cleaned, so we went ahead and did it. Uh, if you're going to take it off, though, get all your bolts out if... Uh, what I had to do is I had to put my pry bar on top of my thermostat housing and give it one good pop, pop that free to get it off. Now, if you get the same intake uh, or um, head gasket set that I got, it's not going to come with that gasket to replace that. If you can find them, they're about $30. Uh, Rover Parts has them, but they have them for the Discovery 2 series, and it's actually a little bit different. So it wouldn't work. So what I ended up doing was uh, I use this stuff quite a bit. It's a it's called sheet gasket. You make your own gaskets out of there, um, and it's pretty thick and it's really durable. So that stuff worked real good on there. Uh, so that's what I'm going to use on that. And then uh, let's see, I got the uh, gasket I made sitting on top of the plenum now. There's my fuel rail. I still got to clean. Um, and I've got this just mocked up right now. Um, so I got the valley end seal sitting in there. Uh, caps are on. Now, when you go to put this together, you need to put silicone right here where that gasket meets the head. You need to put a good size glob on all four of those corners to seal it up. And the same thing, you want to put it up here too. Um, when you set your intake on there just to be safe. All four corners. Some people will go around all of their uh, ports with the sealer and that's not a bad idea. I'm going to do that with mine. Uh, but I just got it mocked up for right now to make sure the fit's going to be right. Um, that way there's, there's no issues when I start putting this back together. But that's uh, pretty much the gist of that. Pretty pretty straightforward. Um, a piece of advice when you go to set your intake on there, 
tighten your end caps before you set your intake on there. That way it holds everything in place. Um, and then set your intake on there and bolt it down. That way you don't slip it. Uh, everything lines up. Uh, just take your time on there. You don't want to damage that valley pan because that a little bit of damage on that thing will cause a vacuum leak and which will cause you to run like crap. So be careful and pay attention when you put that on there. Alright, we're uh, pretty much ready to drop this thing in the rover now. Now there's still some stuff we left off, water pump, uh, thermostat, AC, all the pulleys, the rest of that intake, just to make it easier for me to put it in there, but once you get the intake on there, good to go. Uh, I'd take the bumper off of this thing. My uh, cherry picker is a little bit on the short side for this. Uh, Hopefully we get it in there like this, and uh, that's all there is to it. I mean, we just rebuilt the Land Rover engine. Uh, that's all there is to it.